Hello RuneScape, Bulmacit here with a new video and how is everyone doing? I wanted to talk about clans in Wilderness Warbands and the reason for that is that very recently there were some changes made to Warbands that basically does that everyone can attack each other, like no matter what your combat level is, anyone can attack you. And how this is done is that once you're scold and you're in the multi-way combat, which basically means once you loot a Wilderness Warband, everyone can attack you but keep in mind that this is only when you're not looting a warband because when you're looting and you're kind of staying active in that sense you cannot be attacked unless you get the wonder treachery or you stop looting the warband and though this is a nice thing i'm very excited to see how this is gonna affect i guess future uh clans and uh, players in general because obviously this is a way for jagex to avoid alt bans which is basically uh, people using their alternative accounts to loot warbands and now they can pretty much everyone can attack these accounts So let's say that you're combat 3 and you run around in like uh, dragon fortress or so, not dragon fortress But dark warrior fortress which is like level 20 or something wilderness and the uh, combat 138 can very easily just run up to you and kill you Just like that and personally, I think it's a bit of a uh, good way bad way update and I think it's a bad thing because it will make everything a lot more interesting in sense of how people can do warbands because lower levels will not be able to do warbands anymore, especially not if they're into uh, high level people. And I'm excited to see how this is gonna go with a two clan wars pretty much because let's say that one clan with like a ton of high levels to go against a clan with not really that many high levels. Easily the one with the higher levels will win because they can attack every single person in the other clan It's also a lot more tactical with this because it's like Anyone can just start attacking the lower levels and kind of build the way up uh, Eventually until like there's only the high levels uh, left and everyone just attacks the high levels and they die as well in one way or another And it's just gonna be a massive pile fest, which I think is gonna be where to see but at the same time it's going to be exciting to see in a good way because it's going to be a lot more fighting in the sense of tactical work and things like that and people still need to work very well together in order to survive the wilderness warbirds and get the loot that they want another good thing with this is that it's probably going to be a good motivation for whoever's doing warbands to train their pking stats or their pking skills i guess in order to become better pkers and therefore better players uh well combat related players in general and I think that is the only way to survive warbands at the moment is if you're a decent PKer and you know how to avoid combat or you know how to defend yourself. I do however think it's good that they avoid uh, alt bans and things like that because it's something that most people hate and I agree on that even though uh, I'm a skiller and I run around and try to get my warbands as well and people think that we are alternative accounts even though we're not. A trick that some people may want to do is that once you've looted a warband, you instantly go on to the lobby. Because if you go to lobby, your warband resources is not removed. It's only if you hop worlds or something like that that the warband resources is removed. And since you can't do three warbands a day, maybe you can just cheat your way up to getting the warbands that you need. And this is something that I probably will try to be doing myself since it's kind of the only way that I can do warbands myself at the moment. Which is that I will loot 25 resources since no one can attack me while I'm looting. And then it will instantly just go to the lobby once I'm done and I will stay in the lobby for let's say a few minutes and whatever. And then when yeah, I think everyone is gone or something like that, I look back into the game and I can run safely down since no one is there. And I still have my warband resources. Obviously I cannot world hop though since I will remove the resources but I think it's a safe method for lower level players. So it's going to be good to see uh, how these changes will affect the warbands in the future. There's also been some other changes to warbands so that I'm not really going to go through in this video, but you can check the description below if you're interested in knowing what they are. Besides that, let me know what you think about the update in the comment section below. My name is Wolmisit, and I'll see you guys later.